out of all the things that I want for you in this life is for you to walk with God. And that means having an intimacy with Jesus. And when I was younger, I had my pastor challenge me in this, to be intimate with Jesus. Intimacy, <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it's close familiarity or friendship or a closeness. Uh, you think of intimate, the word intimacy, in to me see. God knows me and I know him through Jesus. And I have to ask myself, am I tuned to the right channel? And he is waiting for us. You know, all of us are within reach. John chapter 1 verse 9, my brother reminded me yesterday, the true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. The true light, Jesus, which gives light to everyone. There's something inside of you and every person that you come into contact, no matter who they are, no matter what they've done, no matter who they were with, they can walk in the light as he is in the light. And that is true for us. And so what is it to be intimate with Jesus? What does that even look like? Well, I just want to remind you of a couple things. And that is Jesus is the best friend that you will ever have. He will be a better friend than you could ever imagine. And Jesus can understand you better than you can even imagine. Another reason that we can be intimate with him and you should look to Jesus is that he is the most powerful friend you will ever have. He can help you. He can actually help you because of the power of the Holy Spirit. He can, have the, he can give you the power to overcome and endure. And then the third thing is, he wants to help you. Jesus is drawing you into his likeness. And so let's get close. Let's stay close. Let's just be with him. And there are a lot of things that can still our intimacy with Jesus. They're a little predictable, and that is the busyness. You know, it kind of leads us to exhaustion. I think about middle-aged parents like me, and we don't know exactly what, where we can find the place where we might have drifted away, but we become busy. Even sometimes we keep busy to avoid that intimacy with God. Another thing that kind of kills that intimacy is unconfessed sin. The Bible says, walk in the light as he is in the light. You know, that scripture that we're to walk in the light as he is in the light, and it leads right into John 1, 9, uh, 1 John 1, 9. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to, to cleanse us from all unrighteous, keeping that intimacy. And then here's another blocker to intimacy, and that's just choosing not to forgive someone. I mean, Jesus taught about this a lot. He used parables, like for example, in Matthew 18, about not forgiving. Uh, we have his direct teaching in Matthew 6, uh, where he says, for if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. And so we don't wanna do anything. And we, we've gotta call that out in our life. And we've got to increase our intimacy with Jesus. Let's get close and let's stay close this week.